you lead someone away from Islam because of your harshness. Now we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who guides and the one who leads astray. But we are vehicles in that guidance and in that leading astray. We can be vehicles of guidance. What is known as uh, our, our, our duty to convey the truth and, and to tell right from wrong and wala and bara and all of that. Uh, the same with going astray. If in your harshness you lead someone astray from Islam and away from Islam and make them feel like Islam is not for them and make them feel despondent and make them give up, uh, um, then you are going to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment for that. You will be held accountable. You will be held accountable. So if you're not going to make the religion easy for people, then at least don't make it hard for them. If you're not going to make Islam easy for people, and I'm not talking about easy in the sense that we make everything halal. I'm not talking about this, you know, uh, uh, super liberal ideology. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about make Islam easy for people and understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them and can forgive them and they can do the right thing and Allah can clean their heart and Allah can change anyone. That's what I'm talking about. But if you lead someone away from Islam because of your harshness, because of your religious toxicity, then you will answer to Allah on the day of judgment for that misguidance.